Hey guys, Nick here from Yance Battle, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a puddle base. Now, I actually use this base for my orc army. Uh, it's a great way to base your miniatures um, really quickly. So first, I applied some white PBA glue to the base. Now, I'm trying to create a river in the middle, so I'm going to be uh, applying some large uh, grain sand on the sides. So that's what I'm doing right here with the PBA glue. And there's the large grain sand. And shake it off. After that was dry, I took some more PBA glue and applied it to the middle of the base. Then I took a small pinch of some really fine grain sand and put it in the middle. And make sure you shake this off right away since you don't want it to be sticking to the base in clumps. Then I primed the base black. Then I dry brushed it with Vallejo Game Color Charred Brown. Now I did a pretty light dry brushing. Um, we're trying to keep the uh, black color to it. And next I went in with Vallejo Game Color Beastie Brown. Did a pretty... Uh, big dry brushing with that color. And then I went in with Vallejo Game Color Leather Brown, definitely trying to get this color more towards the middle of the uh, sand, where the, like, the small grain sand is. And then I uh, am mixing up some uh, Envirotex Light and this is going to create that uh, water effect. And um, I found mine at Menards. Um, they're, you can buy it online from Amazon uh, and stuff like that. And basically it's a two part mixture. You just mix it together and uh, then you can pour it on things and you can uh, basically apply it to any surface. Uh, so it's great for bases. Uh, and you can create like water bases too. Um, that have like submerged stuff in it um, and I'll uh, do a tutorial at some point uh, with this stuff with that. Then I added some turquoise paint to it and I'm mixing it up. And all you have to do is take a little bit and put it on the base. Um, it will settle by itself but I like to help it along with the uh, spoon and uh, push it towards the edges a little bit. And it creates this really nice uh, glossy uh, surface. Um, make sure you don't add too, mu too much uh, turquoise paint because if you do then you won't be able to see the rocks and uh, the sand underneath it. So you, you definitely would just want to apply a little bit. And then there's the finished base. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other tutorials or techniques you want us to do, leave them in the comments below. If you want more content, you can visit our website at eonsabattle.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>